Hi everybody, this is Joe from Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video today. In today's video, I'm uh, giving a quick tour and an inventory of what I have right now. Um, as many of you know, this is my primary splitting area. Um, it's nice to be a little bit out of the elements with this overhang, being under this overhang here. Um, I have these uh, carpets down so I can put the logs on them and try to keep them somewhat clean. Alright, let's get going on this. Um, right here in this barrel I have, uh, I throw in all the shards for uh, kindling and same with that barrel over there. Um, this pile right here is mostly made up of white oak. It probably is three truckloads of firewood and uh, should be ready to go in the fall. Uh, this stack right here is uh, the rejected pieces that um, don't meet my stringent quality standards and I put them in this pile and then uh, we, uh, we will burn it. I'm not going to throw, just throw it out. And in the fall I'll, uh, I'll take them over here and uh, stack them between those posts there on the porch. Now this pile right here is <coughs> made up of a mix of uh, bitternut hickory and uh, that's like one of the best woods for uh, smoking meat. And I've actually had customers drive an hour to pick it up but this is, uh, I'm only down to the top half of the stack because the bottom is, uh, is walnut and oak. So once that's gone, I'm out, and I'm going to have to go over to Augusta and get some more. All right, let's head back here. Now you can see uh, this area, I throw, like, the real junk that we won't even burn because if it, they have, like, uh, uh, ants or termites in it, it gets tossed over here, and then every couple of years or so, I have a fire and get rid of it all. Back in here is my uh, main dry storage area. And let me tell you, it's stacked to the gills. Um, <clears throat> go in here and look, and those, those piles are close to eight feet tall. And, uh, you know, I, I'm six, over six foot tall, and me reaching up, you know, that's all, uh, my arm fully extended to touch that. So uh, I would guess this pile right here probably um, has... Uh, Five, probably five truckloads right there in that stack. It's about, I would say, 13 feet long and, you know, average of uh, seven feet tall. And then this stack right here is mainly white oak, a little bit of cherry I see in there. And uh, that's probably two truckloads. And then this stack here in the middle, or on this left side, that's a... Uh, almost all oak with a little bit of a sassafras mixed in there. The trees had to come down so I uh, I didn't want them to go to waste. That that stack right there is at least one and a half truckloads. Same with this stack right here. That is uh, almost all oak. In fact I think it is all oak and uh, there's probably one and a half truckloads loads right there. This stack right here is red and white oak and uh, it's just over a truck load. And this stack right here is uh, walnut on the top, mostly walnut, and then oak on the bottom. And uh, I lost a friendly bet to uh, Don Zisk, so I bet him a face cord that gas would be five dollars a gallon by Memorial Day and it's right now it's 4.30 you know, a week and a half after Memorial Day. So uh, probably by 4th of July it'll be five bucks, so I was a month off. <laughs> then in this uh, rack I have here, this uh, in the front's mostly white oak. There's all kinds of uh, wood in there. I see uh, a little bit of silver maple, ash. Uh, there's even some birch in there. But that whole rack probably has close to um, at least three truckloads, maybe four, uh, once it's all unloaded. So 
in this whole first area that I just showed you, I have close to probably 20, 20 truckloads. So that's a pretty good start. And back here, I had to start another uh, another pile of scrap junk wood for us. We burned a lot of wood, and that pile I showed you won't make it till January. So I started another pile for us back here. And back over here, um, <clears throat> what we got right here is these are pre-made bundles that uh, I'll be selling to Pine Lake Grocery. It's the only store that uh, buys bundles from me right now, but hopefully I can add a couple more around this area. And so I, I've had this ready to go for him for a couple weeks. Hopefully by next week he'll need some more. Over here I put some mulberry logs. They're just totally green and won't be ready. Even if I split it, it'll take over a year. I'm just keeping these here temporarily. Uh, they they won't be ready till 2014 or 2015 once split. But believe it or not, this mulberry bur burns almost as hot as oak. So it is good firewood. It's just a pain in the ass to handle. Get ready. And back here, um, <clears throat> this pile right here is what I'm going to use once I sell those bundles. Then this is what I'm going to make the new bundles out of. Uh, the bottom of it is mostly ash logs, the top is uh, oak and sassafras, but you know, they're just going to go into campfires anyway. And then here's a, here's a stack of uh, what I have ready for campfire wood, haven't sold any since Memorial Day, so hopefully that picks up soon, but there's a, over a full truckload right there. So when I sell that, I'll head into the woods and uh, get some more dry stuff. And back here, uh, you can see I put this pile up in front of the other pile just because I got to get ready for the winter and uh, um, I'm running out of places to put it so I just made this little uh, rack up. I think maybe in the fall I'll have uh, Bill Moon of uh, Moon's Moon Signs Incorporated or something like that make me some uh, holding racks for uh, wood. But the pile behind it is um, this is all cherry right there and then that is in front of uh, oak. So that's a stack of cherry and oak there and I would say there's probably three, at least three truckloads there. And then this right here, I think I'm going to give this stack to Patty it's uh, cherry and oak, and she likes wood that snaps and pops, and I believe cherry does that pretty good, so I think that's the pile uh, her and Lair are going to get when they need some wood. And over here, this, this pile, I uh, just split in March, um, and it's, it's, all, it's red oak and white oak, real good, good wood right there. Um, I would guess that's another three truckloads of uh, wood, and uh, three truckloads is, is just over a full cord of wood. And then this pile right here, um, it is white oak and walnut, and I would say there's two truckloads of wood there. So everything I got back here, I would guess to be another ten truckloads, so that's thirty truckloads, which... I believe I sold more than that last year. I didn't keep count, but I would guess I sold at least 40. So when uh, when I start selling it in the fall, I'm going to have to find some standing dead and uh, replace it so I can resell it the same year. Um, I also sell uh, bundles in my uh, driveway, too. They're down there, and uh, that's about... You know, I probably sell about 20 bundles a year down there, but it's extra income. Well, this is almost over. Uh, one other thing I'd like to show you is I just had a, had my truck done. Uh, Bill Moon, again, uh, put these uh, signs on, on the back, and I already got uh, one sale from it. I had a delivery to uh, Deep Lake and Yankee Springs. 
And uh, one of the other customers, or campers, saw me deliver and had me bring them, bring them a load. So it, it'll pay off. And he also did the side here. So looks really good, don't you think? All right, well, I guess that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, like Joe's Premium Firewood on Facebook. See ya!